What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed the last video if you went and checked it out for Pancake Day. If not, there should be a link up to it in the corner, unless you're on a school site, which you can't do that. This week we're going to be doing a dancing hot dog. Someone suggested in the comments. It's actually my nephew, not the famous one, not the dancing one. But before we get stuck into the video, go and have a look at my website. You'll be able to download the picture, should be on screen here. If you want to colour it in or just use it to help you draw the picture you're trying to do. Um, we're going to do a simplified version of that today just to get the main thing done. So with all that being said, let's get stuck into the video. First thing I'm going to do is start off with this hat. So we're starting off nice and high up on the page. So we're just drawing a little oval shape and then a slight curve at the bottom. So we're making like a fallen over D shape. And then I'm just going to pop a, a little D like we did with the Pikachu for the back of his cap where it opens up and then come round and draw the brim off. And then Split the cap in half for a little bit of decoration and pop a little button on top. So next up, I'm going to draw his sunglasses. So I'm just doing a little line along the top, a little just a notch in it where the nose goes through. And then we're just doing sort of a U shape underneath just to make the nice shape of the glasses. Just fill that bit in. So I'm just adding in a few reflection bits just to show that they're reflective like glasses. Okay, so this side, because we can see it, we need the little gaps for his hands and his arms just to poke out through. And then I'm going to do, this is the sausage body part. So we just do a nice straight line round, curving at the bottom. And then this bit is the other side of the bun, which you can't see so well. Anytime you want to, just pause the video because I go quite quickly and I get a bit distracted and get into it. So next we're going to do his mouth. Okay, so this bit's probably the trickiest part for his arms. So just gonna do a nice sort of spaghetti arm going up into the air. Make sure you get a nice little circle. It gives a bit of shape to his arm. And then this is a little cuff for his glove. And then these bits I always used to find so hard when I was younger. And well, even when I was old, just to draw hands is so hard. This, I basically make a little E shape, like a wobbly E, or maybe like a fancy C. So you're just curving up and round. And this is his thumb. And then his finger stretches up. And then I'm just gonna do two really lanky, tall O's for his fingers. So one, two, three. Each one gets smaller because he's got his big finger sticking up and then each finger gets a little bit smaller towards your little finger. And so we know he's dancing, I'm just gonna add in some musical notes. Okay, 
Okay, let's. We might as well stick with the hands and do the next hand. So this one, to make it a bit more tricky for us, challenging. I'm gonna do the hand in a different position. When I used to draw pictures, I used to just have one hand style. I just have him a bit like the Mandalorian. Have them down by his side, like how I drew the Mandalorian. But it's tricky to, because it's so tricky to draw hands. But so this one, we're just gonna draw a straight line and see it curves at the end. Then we're gonna draw each finger curving off at the end, and then the last finger we curve and we can see the whole bit of his finger. And then the thumb, we're just gonna do a nice easy. Easy thumb, it gets a bit fatter at the end. So the only way to get better at doing hands is either do what I'm doing here, having a look at pictures of hands and copying them, or have a look at how other people have done them and just copy their what those hands. And you'll have done it so many times, you'll get better and better each time. So here I've just done another kind of spaghetti style limb. For his leg because he's a dancer he's got a bit more muscly he's got a bit of a muscly leg and i've got his little pop socks on for his dancing and i've just drawn a little circle and then same as the mandalorian so lots of these things can really cross over i'm drawing like that little circle for the toe cap of his foot and again where you draw the bottom of the shoe just gonna hang hang that bit over because it's the sole of of his foot Put some lines in just to show it's the toe cap and some shoelaces. Okay, this one again. I'm not going to just draw the same way, the same leg in the same way. We've just got a little bend to his knee here to make it a bit more tricky. And this time we're going to have his shoe facing the other way, so we can see what his shoe looks like from both ways. Okay. So it's just like the Mandalorian, but I've just changed the shoe up a little bit. Obviously, I know I'm going really quick here, but just give it a pause. Rewind it if you need to. And then, because I'm drawing like, they're like Converse shoes, so I've just put a little circle near the back. And then in the picture I've got that you can download, there's lots of background decoration. If you want to add that, go for it. It'll be really good. Um, have a look on the website. The link's in the description below. Go to the website. You can print off a picture and colour it in or just use it for reference. So having a look at it, see what I've done and send in your pictures. If there's anything you want to learn to draw, you can message me on Dojo if you have access to that with the school or if you're watching on YouTube on my page you can send me a comment and I'll draw your picture. I've already had one comment through someone wants to learn how to draw a unicorn so the next video is going to be on how to draw a unicorn. Check out my other videos and don't forget to give us a like if you like this video and want to see more of them and subscribe as well. Right see you next time bye!